Captain C.A. Richardson here with another great fishing tip from Flats Class YouTube. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about tying knots. So I want to share with you a couple of knots that I use when I'm putting together uh, a particular rod and reel setup, especially when it relates to fishing artificial lures. All right, there's three knots that I like to use. I like to use a bimini twist, but for time's sake, I'm gonna show you a triple surgeon's knot in replace of that to make a double line. Then I'm gonna show you an Albright knot. An Albright knot is a fantastic knot where you're trying to take 10 or 15 pound braid and match it with 30 or 40 pound leader. And then lastly, I'm gonna teach you a non-slip mono loop knot to tie to the lure itself, where you can control the size of the loop and it's super strong. So let's start off with the triple surgeon's knot so that we can make a double line. So to make a double line, I like to, I like to fold over my braid from the main line, probably about 16 to 18 inches. Now I wanna make this double line, so the way I'm gonna do it is with a triple surgeon's knot. So I'm gonna make an overhand, such as this, and I'm gonna come through with the double tag three times. Once. Twice. Three times. Now, like I said earlier, I, I prefer, a, honestly, a, a bimini, but this is very strong and work, will work well. You just pull it tightly together, nice and easy. Makes a nice small knot, and it makes a super strong little double line. Now, I'm going to cut the tag off close because it's not going to slip likely. So, cut this off. And then the next step is to show you after I show you this, now you've got a double line, a nice little short double line. Now I'm going to show you the Albright. Well, now that you have your double line made, let's talk about the Albright. The Albright knot is a fantastic knot when you have two different thicknesses of line that you're trying to meld together, such as a very thin super braid with a piece of monofilament or even fluorocarbon leader. So I'm gonna show you next how you put those two lines together for a nice smooth knot that'll go back and forth through the guides without hanging up. So you take the tag end of this 30 pound leader and you put it through the loop that you've created with your double line. And what I like to do is I like to walk it up about four times. So I'm gonna walk it and wrap it around the main line four times. Once, twice, three times, four times. Then what I want to do is I want to turn it around and I want to walk it back down that line again toward the loop. Once, twice, three times, four times. And then I'm going to stick it back through that loop. Oops, missed it. What you need to do here is you need to pull it together real slow. See how I'm pulling it together slow? You don't want to rush this knot. You want it all to come together nice and even. Now a trick to making knots come together very smoothly is either to add chapstick or add saliva. So pardon the spit. We've wet that knot up. That lubricates the knot. I'm going to take even pressure and I'm going to pull it together best I can. Very tight and snug. I'm going to seat it. And what that has done is it's left me this long tag, but you can see that nice small barrel knot. This knot will not slip. It's attached to that double line that I tied with the triple surgeons. And I'm going to clip just a little bit off there and leave a tiny tag. Something that will move through the guides. I could probably cut it even tighter than that. That is what I call the Albright. So now I have a connector to my leader material, to a double line that is part of my super braid because I connected it with a triple surgeon's knot. And next, I'm gonna share with you how to attach the lure to the leader. So in review, I tied a triple surgeon's knot and I created a double line. Attached to that double line, I tied a very small Albright knot. That's given me the strength that I need in this knot setup. Next, 
I'm going to teach you how to tie a loop knot that will create a hinge that will give this lure more action than you can believe. So let's, let's move on to the non-slip loop knot. All right, let's talk a little bit about the loop knot. This is how I like to do the loop knot. I use something called the non-slip mono loop knot. And to do that, you put an overhand loop in your leader material so that it looks like so. I size the knot down. I like it about the size of the top of a pencil eraser. Then I take the lure and I take the tag and I put it inside of the line tie. Take your tag and run it through that overhand loop that you made the size of a pencil eraser. Now you might have to size it down a little bit. See how I'm sizing it down? And then I hold it. Now what I want to do with this 30 pound leader material is I want to take this standing line and I want to go around this one time so that I, I lap over it. And then I want to bring it through that loop right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it down tight. Cinch it up. That creates a loop. Now I tied this one a little larger so that it would be easier for you to see how it comes together. Typically I would I would probably tie that even half. Let me say it again. Typically I would tie this about half that size, but for this demonstration I wanted the loop a little bit bigger so that you could see it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut cut this tag down. Leave yourself about three sixteenths to a quarter, and you'll notice the tag goes back toward the bait, so it's not going to catch anything. That's how you tie a non-slip mono loop knot. It sits very well. I'm going to tell you another thing. When you tie these knots with fluorocarbon, you're going to need more turns. Uh, two turns on the loop knot and probably five or six turns on your Albright. So quickly, in review, we've got a triple surgeon's knot here. It's very small. It's a double line. Remember, I said I like to use the bimini knot, but a triple surgeon's will work, or a spider hitch. When I get here from the super braid to the mono leader, I've tied a very small Albright knot that will move back and forth through the guides very easily in case you want to reel them through the rod tip. As I move down the leader material, I taught you how to tie the non-slip mono loop knot. This is a favorite knot of mine. I tied this one a little larger than I normally would, but I needed to show it for demonstration purposes so you could see that it allows this bait to swing freely at the end of the fishing line and give your bait a lot more action. I truly hope that these tips help you catch more fish. They certainly help my clients each and every day that I'm guiding on the water. Hey, signing off, Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class YouTube.